Good morning, modern steaders. Hey, I don't know if you believe in Irish luck or not, but you just got pooped on by a bird and I... That one just hit me. I felt something hit me. <laughs> I missed it on camera. It's the worst part. Aww. I saw something white fall. Yeah, got you right there. Oh, well, luckily it wasn't my hair. There's a bird somewhere up in that tree. Yeah, it just flew up there and then I lost a poop. Uh, come on in, Figaro. Okay. Come on, I'll feed you over here. We'll change it up this morning. Feed you in the compost you've been scratching. We are still in mud season right now. Can't wait till it dries out and I can restack these piles of compost and then the chickens will get it, scratch it, do it all over again. And we're in mud season up at the off grid property too. We have a lot going on up there, but we're at a standstill for a little bit and I don't want to show you how much we've gotten done at the home site because I want to make it a surprise and be able to show a lot of it all at once. So we're going to be waiting on that, but just want to let you know there is a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not seeing right now. Good morning. Good morning. She's still sleeping. Trying to jump up on your mother. Good morning, ladies. You made a mess. You get to clean that up, don't I? You gonna kick the chickens out of your hay feeder or what? Huh? <laughs> Little P, you gotta kick the chickens out. Well, 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 the same two chickens laid in here again. They knocked those boards off there again. Yeah, they knocked the boards off again, and we got the two eggs again. Silly. <sighs> At least we know where to look. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take their journey to the next level. I don't know about you, but I love learning and I never want to stop. That's one of the things I love about Skillshare is I can go on their platform, research, see what they have for classes, pick something new to learn. Right now, the class that I am taking is Woodworkers for Beginners by Anna Briggs and Josh Neva. The title might make it sound like it's just a beginning woodworking class, but it's not. It's all about learning how to carve spoons and how to go out in your backyard and pick the wood that you need to make these spoons. I've always wanted to learn how to make spoons, so now I am taking this class, so I'll have the opportunity to make some of these from wood right from our backyard, which gets me really excited. Skillshare is curated just for learning. That means there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. One of the things I really like about Skillshare is that the classes are broken down into chapters. So if there's one area you wanna go back, you don't have to go back and watch the whole class. You can just go back to that chapter, click on it, and rewatch it. Sorry about all the noise in the background. We have some chickens that are excited about laying eggs. I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. For the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link in the video description down below, Skillshare is offering free premium membership. So thanks Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and let's get on with the video now.
Last year we raised over 150 meat birds on the homestead and this year we're gonna be raising even more. We're gonna be doing a little bit different, so I need to make a new chicken tractor today. We have three chicken tractors on the homestead. I tried raising our last batch of meat birds a different way. We raised them in a coop and moved that big mobile coop around. We had a fence out and that didn't go as well for us or for the meat birds. We like using our $30 chicken tractors. They used to cost $30 to build. Nowadays, they're gonna be a little bit more. I'll put a link in the video description down below. We're gonna be using our plans that we have up on our website, lumnaacres.com. And it's a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to build this with directions, cut sheet, all the material you're gonna need. And this is what I used when I went and got everything that we needed. We need to build another one of these today. We have meat birds coming. They are getting shipped out this week. I don't know exactly what day they're gonna get here, so we need to make sure we're ready for when they're here. So let's get started. The goats are pretty noisy today. You can hear them all being rambunctious and jumping around. We have it figured out pretty good, so all these cutoffs, we'll be using them again. So if you're gonna make it, don't throw these away. We're gonna need to cut those back. So we are using fence pickets here to make our chicken tractor. They're one of the most affordable pieces of lumber right now. They come in different lengths. Well, they're supposed to be 72 inches long, but they all vary. They're all a little bit different. This one's just over 72 inches. So when you're making your sides just make sure they're all the same length not meaning your pickets but space your end pieces out the same and build the second one and build it right on top of this one. I'm gonna do the corner braces next and the rear ski before we get the top on and before we side it. It makes it easier to get in and out. I've learned that from building these a few times. I need to attach some locking on the back here for my rear ski. I'm using some scrap 2x4s because I have it kicking around. that goes on the bottom, it makes it easier for the chicken tractor to drag across the pasture. I found quick 
shelves in, give you a place to put your water and your feet to sit on. They also really straighten up the traffic quite a bit. since the first original build is at the 36 inch mark I used to put my cutoff spindles but what I do now is I run a 2x4 across the center that helps stiffen it up and gives something a lot stronger for the top to be hinged on to. That's the way to cut chicken wire. So much faster than what tin says.
I normally use chicken wire all around the tractor, but when I went to get the wire, our tractor supply only had this 14 gauge welded wire. It'll work, it's just a little bit more expensive using this versus the chicken wire. I did remember to sharpen my knife. Now it cuts like butter. So if you have some kind of hose, plastic pipe, PEX, works really good. It makes it a little bit easier on your hands when you're pulling. Last year we used white tarps on our chicken tractor. They didn't have any white tarps, but they had silver. They had a lot of black ones and green ones. Didn't want to go that color, because all that's going to do is attract heat. This is a tarp that's nine feet, four inches by 11 feet, four inches. It should fit perfectly. I'm gonna wrap this up like a nice Christmas present, but I'm not a very good Christmas wrapper. So we'll do our best. I like to stick a 2x4 or 2x6 in the center here, right to here, and that helps keep the tarp up so water doesn't pull the back.
All right, so besides get the chicken, we have one last thing to do. That's to put our latches on here. There we go. Now we're ready for the meat birds. When we first get them, they won't be going in this chicken tractor, they'll be going in the brooder. And once they're big enough to get outside, we're gonna need this, and it's already done. I like being prepared and ready ahead of the game. Are you ladies hungry or what? Yeah. Yeah, it says I am, I want a chicken nugget. How many eggs? Uh, nine. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think you looked. No, I didn't. I, I was right on the money. Look at that. They probably have two waiting in the hay feeder for us. Probably. What are you doing, biscuits and gravy? <laughs> Having fun before the rain comes? <laughs> you ladies have gotten huge. And I mean that in a good way. You're nice and long. That means lots of bacon. I know, I know. You don't want to hear me talking about that. Where are the babies? Over here. Oh, They're going to have to go in. It's still sprinkled. Uh-oh, You guys better rain. start hopping around. Get all your jumps out. Get your jumps out. Get your jumps out. Jump, 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 jump. Good girl. Out in the rain. Too young. Ooh, look at her. Play in here for a minute. Play in here for a minute. I'll hold you some water now. Some water. A little thirsty there, work girl. Sheesh. I know. I like some. That's a big old drink. She's going back. She's a camel. Yeah. Is that good? You're all wet. Want to have some good stuff? Oh, no. Oh, you just want to come and see the video over there. See if I jump on mom? Careful. Oh, my goodness. I started a sourdough starter um, probably about a week ago and I'm really excited and hope that it works. I've never done one before. So one of my things is what do you do with the discard? So um, we follow Farmhouse on Boone. She has a YouTube channel and a website. She has a ton of stuff on her website for discard. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and try some banana bread. The reason I chose that is I have some really ripe bananas here. I have my flour here and I'm just going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. Ground cinnamon. it together. You should probably whisk this, maybe even sift it. I don't do that. And it's a half a cup of butter. So I just need to Mix this till it becomes light and fluffy. All right, now I just gotta add one egg at a time. and half a cup of my discarded sourdough. All right, so now I am going to fold in or gently mix my flour in there. Just trying to make sure I don't see any more flour, but you don't want to stir too much. I don't know about you, but I've never had sourdough banana bread before. It was delicious. If you want to see that recipe, go check out Farmhouse on the Boone's website. She has it linked over there. Thanks. I want to, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. The first 1,000 people that clicks the link in the video description down below will get a free trial of premium Skillshare. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad that we got our chicken tractor mates now and our meat birds show up. We're ready to go. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Bye.